This is James Robertson with Syncom Systems. This afternoon we're going to take a look at the Syncom Smalltalk browser. This is common between both Object Studio 8 and VisualWorks, so taking a look at this screencast will demonstrate something of value to all customers and prospects who are just looking at it. What I'm using here is VisualWorks non-commercial 7.5, and as I said, even though this is VisualWorks, the browser is common between the two. So to get to it, you can go straight here to this icon, and you'll get a window that looks like this. And over here you see it's a four pane kind of deal. Here you have packages and you see there are these things that look kind of like puzzle pieces. Those are bundles and the reason they're broken is that I don't have the version control system hooked up right at the moment. So here I have bundles, packages. Those are the two kinds of things you'll see here. If I select a package in this next pane I'll see classes, namespaces. If I select a class I will see the definition of the class down here. Over here I will see method protocols, meaning categorization scheme for methods. And finally in the last pane I'll see a list of all the methods. Now I should tell you what this means when something is bolded as opposed to unbolded. The bolded means that that's the full class definition as part of this package. Unbolded means that there are methods that have been added to this class as part of this package, in particular these two. But this class itself is defined elsewhere. So that's what that means. Finally, let's go ahead and select a method. And then down here in this pane, you will see the code for the method itself. Now let's go all the way back out to the package. You'll notice there are a couple of things I can look at here. There's comment, which will describe the package. There are properties, which I'm not going to go into depth on right now, but there are a bunch of properties for the package, including prerequisites for that loading component. And then finally, if I go to the class, the one of interest here to us is comment, which will comment and document the class and source, which gives me the definition of the class. That pretty much wraps up the brief overview I wanted to go through today. Next time, we'll take a look at defining a new class.